So here we have the BMW 220D Coupe Automatic M Sport on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through a few controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a two-door car with those M Sport alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got reversing sensors and a really decent amount of boot space as well and those rear seats will fold 60-40. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way round. A really lovely looking car as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, you get full leather seats. And there's plenty to run through on the dashboard as well, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the left-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. There's a trip computer on this car. You can change the information that's displayed on that by pushing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various different bits of fuel economy information, as you can see. If we're back out to the steering wheel. On the right-hand side, we have the stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, and it will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. And that is, of course, once you've paired the phone, that's done on the central screen, which I'll show you in a moment. And on the left-hand side, we have cruise control with speed limiter. We also have these paddles here for changing up and down a gear in this uh, semi-automatic uh, type mode that the auto gearbox in the BMW has got. And I'll, again, I'll show you that in just a moment. Over in the center here is where we uh, set up our phone, amongst other things. You can see this car has got satellite navigation. Uh, everything you do on the screen there is all done using BMW's iDrive system just down here. So turning this dial will take us through various options. We can then select things by pushing it down. It moves to the right, to the left, up and down, or you can use the buttons directly above it to access menus directly. So we're in the navigation menu for the example at the moment. Uh, if I wanted to access this panel to the left hand side here, I just jog that dial over to the left and I'm then in that menu. And anything that you rotate round to, it will highlight to show you what that thing is. So if we press the menu button, we go back to the main menu, uh, you can see navigation listed there. That's where you pair your phone there. In terms of radio, this car's got FM, AM and DAB digital radio. And then in terms of other ways to listen to music, i.e. multimedia, you've got CD and then it simply says external devices. If you select that, you can see that we can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio once that phone is connected. And we've got auxiliary input as well. And on top of that, a CD player. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. Incidentally, there's a full video showing how the satellite navigation works on our website and on our Facebook page. So it's well worth checking that out. Below that, we got a CD player uh, and the main volume for the stereo. And then underneath that, we've got the uh, climate control. So quite simply, you can set your temperature over here, fan speed up and down from here. When you're happy with uh, those settings, that button will turn the air conditioning on, or you can hit auto and the car will maintain this temperature by itself. And you see it's taking control of the fan speed completely. You can override that by readjusting the fan speed accordingly. We have a driver heated seat and passenger heated seat. And over on the far side here, this is the direction in which the air will be blowing once it enters the car. Below that, we have two cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket. Then the fully automatic gearbox. I mentioned the uh, ability to change gear manually. If we put it in drive and then shift that over to the left, we can then go up a gear or down a gear from there and pop it back into drive. You can do that at any point in motion or stationary and obviously you can use the paddles on the steering wheel should you wish to rather than the stick itself. And then just press that button to take it back to park. So the right hand side of that, we can turn off the parking sensors or turn them on. Uh, this will change the setup of the way the car drives. So if you put it in sport, for example, the car will rev higher in each gear, the steering will become firmer and the uh, accelerator pedal will react slightly quicker to what you do, uh, giving it a sportier feel. And Eco Pro is essentially the polar opposite. Comfort mode is right in the middle here, and any setting you put it on will show, only, only on the steering wheel, but also up on the main display as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.